Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, is it a war crime to uh, kill civilians? Is it a war crime to uh, target a birthday party or a wedding? I think it is, but uh, hey, uh, it seems like that depends on who's doing it and who's at the receiving end and who's at the delivery end. I have an article here, it's from, uh, uh, the, I'm going to read it right now, and it is coming from, it's from Z Live News. Now, it uh, says that it's, it comes from uh, various uh, outlets, and it is from today, the 22nd of December 2022, and this is the title. Ukraine attacks high-ranking Russian politicians, they are politicians, at birthday party. Would that qualify as a war crime? No? Okay. Two senior Russian officials were reportedly wounded in Ukrainian shelling in Donetsk. And you find this in other sources too. This was reported by several Russian news agencies. Among the wounded, they say, they said, was Russia's former Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin, as well as Vitaly Kotsenko, head of government of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. The two men reportedly came under fire in a hotel on the outskirts of Donetsk. The occasion is said to have been Dmitry Rogozin's birthday. Right, so, uh, we like it or not, uh, we have to call things as they are. If it's my birthday and I'm a, let's say, war criminal and I invite uh, uh, civilians and they participate, relatives, friends, whatever you want to call them, and uh, someone wants to take me out because I am considered a war criminal by them or an enemy, and someone hits me, right, hits my birthday party and kills me or injures me and uh, some other people around, how would that be considered? And let's say you were at my birthday party and I'm the one that's targeted. And let's say you and your children, you participate, you're a wife. And God, God forbid, I'm just injured, but let's say your loved ones are dead. You, would you be okay with that? Say, well, kind of like they deserve it because I mean, it's a war crime and uh, I participated here with my wife and I'm not involved in anything, but I participated with my wife, with my children, and now they are no more. And I should say, actually, it's okay, I guess, right? Would, would you say that? I don't think you would say that. Should those guys over there say that? Oh, it, well, they deserve it because they participated in his birthday. Would you be okay if they would say that's okay? I guarantee you, you would not see the things that, uh, that way. I wouldn't. So, um, this makes another attack that reminds me of some attacks of the American and the British. I think it was the British as well. Uh, I know for sure that Americans in Afghanistan they blew up some weddings, remember? And you know what they, what, what they said after they killed those? Well, uh, it was just, uh, you know, my bad. That's it. That's it. And I think they, they paid, I don't know, a few thousand dollars for uh, those uh, poor, uh, uh, whatever they were, Afghani, to, to do what? I don't need your money. I need my loved ones. How about that? So anyway, uh, you talk about uh, uh, targeting civilians. That's a plain example. Now, it is true that that is according to the Russians. I don't know, you might find it in other medias, but that's what the Russians reported. I know that the Ukrainians, I found it in, uh, in their uh, uh, outlets, in Ukrainska Pravda and uh, New Voice of Ukraine, they were in the Ukraine Forum, the three of them, and they were boasting about it. Oh, he got hurt, they got bombarded, they got targeted and so on. They don't mention anything about anything else, obviously saying, hey, we blew up some people that were participating in this guy's uh, date of birth or birthday celebration or something. Mm -mm, no. But anyway, uh, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure that uh, they didn't give a fuck. And uh, if that guy was in the hotel over there, I don't think he was by himself. And to bomb a hotel where you have a target is like bombing a country to get rid of Putin. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't do it that way. I mean, that means you have you have no uh, you know respect and you disregard uh, the 
civilian population, whatever the population might be. Remember, don't kill innocent civilians. Were they innocent? And if not, why not? Because they were just participating with this guy because they had a different kind of... Or this is the idea. This guy is a bad dude that this guy is considered being a bad dude. Nobody should talk to him. Isolate the guy. Is that, is that what it is? But it, because if we go by the same, uh, by the same uh, way of thinking and judgment, then I don't think anybody should have any friends. Why? Because we all did something somewhere sometime that we do, do not deserve to do it, to, to, to be seen anything else than, uh, you know, bad dudes. So it means that if someone is a war criminal, he can't love uh, a woman or his children or his parents or his friends or his community. But this guy is uh, up and down and uh, good versus evil uh, worldview. No, you can't. But you see, they don't apply the same thing to themselves. Because if you just extrapolate and say, okay, how, how about we judge you by the same standards? Nobody should speak with anybody. Nobody say, oh, no, you're not good. Oh, you're, I'm not good. You're not good. Nobody's good. I mean, we all have some defects. We all committed some hanky-panky, more or less. And besides, remember, my uh, freedom fighters, fighters are the other guy's terrorists. The same here. Uh, this guy who was blown up by those guys considering him whatever they consider him is the hero of these people. So that means those people deserve to die because they support this, this but they're civilians. You know what I mean? I mean, if you take it like that, you should, uh, what? That means you can, is an open, uh, open, open season, season on uh, blowing up civilians because the civilians are working for uh, supporting their troops and their, you know, their militaries and Putin. That means you should, no problem? Is that what it is? I mean, if we go by that, who doesn't deserve to be blown up in this case? I mean, I think uh, if you look at uh, Yugoslavia or Serbia, 1999, Iraq, uh, Syria, Libya, and Afghanistan, just to, to mention a few, do you think that then the population of United States is clean? By the same standards I'm talking about. Because after all, they worked, they paid taxes, Therefore, they supported the war machine in an illegal war, which was 1999 in Yugoslavia. Therefore, what? Were they okay to attack civilians? Of course not. But here it is kind of like, oh, well, my bad. Remember when the Americans blew up the uh, Chinese consulate or embassy in Belgrade, in the embassy, I think, in Belgrade in 1999, killed some Chinese nationals? And some uh, staff members, I think some Serbs. Oh, my bad, it was an accident. Collateral damage. That's how they, they, they it's a, with a smart bomb. Well, smart bomb uh, operated by smart people. You know what I mean? The, the gun, the gun could be smart if uh, an idiot holds it, can uh, commit some idiotic uh, crimes instead of, you know, defending or fighting for the, you know, to defend uh, what's right. Let's put it like uh, these weasels here. What's like, what's right. Do the, do the right thing. Well, your right thing might not be my right thing. So can we discuss the details a little bit? No, no. That's the way it is. So anyway, just uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we call an action, we use the term that fits the, you know, the action, the behavior here. And blowing up a, uh, or attacking, shelling at a hotel where someone has a birthday party with civilians because that guy Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I don't know how you, you, you can justify that. But anyway, but remember when Hitler was, uh, how, many, how many, you know, assassinations attempt, there were, you know, attempted on his life to kill him? And the famous one in the wolf lair, remember that? In uh, the Polish forest, or it was in, uh, in uh, yeah, next to front, anyway. And uh, it now is in Poland. Old Prussia, I think it was, East Prussia, and now they make a they make a uh, how do you call it a, 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 a hero out of uh, I can't remember his uh, played by Tom Cruise in that movie. I didn't watch the movie. I know the incident. I can't remember his name anyway, and uh, Colonel something like I, I think Lieutenant Colonel. I can't remember something like that. And he uh, a hero because he blew up what and 
injured a few over there, but hey, they were all military, so you can say, hmm, mm, eh, it's all right. But here, birthday party. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.